Lesson 172. Ese. Esa. Okay, in the last lesson, we learned how to use a demonstrative adjective. That is, the one that says this. Now we're learning another demonstrative adjective, the one that says that. And all the same rules are going to apply, so we don't really need to go through everything again. Let's just go through the forms of ese and esa that we see here on the chart. Ese. Esa. Esos. Esas. So, Antonio, I'm seeing a similarity here in that the masculine singular form ends in the letter E. Like before, when we learned how to say this, it was este. Now that we're learning how to say that, it's ese. So both uh, masculine singular forms end with the letter E. Mm -hmm. That's correct. As we said in the last lesson, there is such a thing as ending that first masculine singular word with the letter O. All right, Antonio, that would be the demonstrative pronoun, not the demonstrative adjective, right? That's correct, Bill. Okay. Uh, another thing I'm noticing here, Antonio, is that these forms are exactly the same as the previous ones, but just without the letter T. Like if you had este and took out the letter T, that would leave you with ese. And mm -hmm. if you had esta and took out the letter T, that would give you esa. So that's kind of a weird thing. It's like, uh, it's the same as the other forms, but just with the letter T missing, right? That's correct, Bill. So was there a conspiracy or something to uh, get rid of the letter T or what? I think so, Bill. <laughs> okay, let's go over our exercises together. In number one, ese carro means that car. Notice how ese and carro both are masculine and singular. In other words, they agree with one another in number and gender. S is the verb, that means is, and un carro nuevo means a new car. So number one says, that car is a new car. In number two, esos hombres means those men. Notice how esos and hombres are both masculine and plural. In other words, they agree with each other in number and in gender. The verb is song, that's third person plural, and it goes with the hombres. Mis amigos means my friends. So number two will say, those men are my friends. In number three, esa sopa means that soup. Notice how esa and sopa are both feminine and singular. In other words, they agree with one another in number and gender. And our verb is esta, that means is, and muy vieja means very old. Now keep in mind that the word vieja, even though it comes later, it's still describing sopa. So vieja has to be singular and feminine as well. Uh, incidentally, Vieja is in what you would call the predicate position. It's a predicate adjective, but to make a long story short, it's still describing the soup, so it has to agree with the word sopa. In number four, esas muchachas means those young women, song means are, and mis hermanas means my sisters. So number four will say, those young women are my sisters. In number five, we have a question. The pronoun tu and the verb quieres together say you want, but since this is a question, they're reversed, and so we'll really translate those two words as do you want. Comprar is an infinitive that means to buy. Ese carro means that car. Notice how ese and carro are both masculine and singular. So number five will ask the question, do you want to buy that car? In number six, gracias means thank you. Por hacer means for making or for doing. And este emparedado means this sandwich. So number six will say, thank you for making this sandwich. And number seven, I means there is or there are. Una papa vieja means an old potato. And en la mesa means on the table. So number seven will say, there is an old potato on the table. Notice how the words una Papa and vieja are all singular and feminine. In other words, they all agree with one another in number and in gender. 
And number eight, mi padre quiere means my father wants. Comprar is an infinitive that means to buy. And este carro means this car. So number eight will say, my father wants to buy this car. In number nine, we have a me gusta type of statement. Dormir is the subject. That's an infinitive that means to sleep. In esa cama means in that bed. The verb is gusta. Les means to them. No is here to negate our statement. And a mis niños means to my children. So literally, number nine might say something like this. To sleep in that bed is not pleasing to them, to my children. But we'll really translate it like this. My children do not like to sleep in that bed. In number 10, esa mujer tiene will say that woman has. And cinco niños means five children. So that woman has five children.